Assalamu alaikum, I'm your host Babalu Lahori. Friends, today's video is going to be very important because I am going to talk to you about smartphone displays. I was getting a lot of questions from you that there should be a dedicated video on smartphone displays so that we know which display is good. We should buy IPS, we should buy AMOLED, TFT is also coming, OLED is also coming. So I thought I will make a video, I will clear all your confusion, do watch this video till the end. And I hope after watching this video you will have so much knowledge that did I call you. Okay, let's go. So let's start this video. When you go to buy a smartphone, most of the things that are in focus are the processor, RAM, storage, battery. Many of you focus on the display too, but most of the users do not focus. You have to regret it later because the display is such a component of the smartphone that you will have to interact with the display as much as you want to use the phone. So if the display is not fun, then the performance will not be fun. So the focus should be on the display. First of all, this thing, the technology is moving so rapidly, it's confusing. There are so many displays and terms in the market. I don't understand anything. There are two types of displays. One is LCD display and the other is AMOLED. There are so many market terms and names in these displays, it's confusing. Now there is PLS, TFT, and Apple is IPS. It creates confusion. AMOLED panel, if any other brand uses AMOLED, then it is AMOLED. If Samsung uses the same panel in its device, then it is Super AMOLED. This is the same scene with OLED. After that, you must have seen Fluid AMOLED and Dynamic AMOLED. So Fluid AMOLED is a term made by OnePlus. It is a 90Hs panel, so it gives the name Fluid AMOLED. So these are all things. Refresh rate is also high in today's era. High refresh rate panels are coming out in IPS and AMOLED as well because both are running side by side. Apart from that, the touch sampling rate is also increasing in today's time. Whatever display you select, one thing should be in your mind, that is PPI density. Now this PPI density stands for pixels per inch. Now, how will it be measured? What is it? I'm not gonna get involved in all these technical things. Mainly those Science IPS LCD panel, Super AMOLED, OLED, OLED, TFT, LCD, TFT stands for thin film. The contrast ratio is not that good. The colors are dull. Samsung recently launched PLS TFT panel. Now that panel is very close to IPS panel. But you have to go to IPS LCD panel. You have to skip TFT after IPS LCD. IPS stands for in-plane switching LCD. So IPS is a type of LCD that is considered to be the best. I mean, a lot of people ask me that IPS LCD display is completely useless. So it's not like that. A good quality IPS display, it beats a low quality AMOLED display even today. So these are the things that work. And secondly, let me tell you that the IPS LCD panel, its color reproduction is very good. The colors are close to natural. That means you get to see accurate colors in it. There is only one color problem here, and that is black. You won't get accurate black colors here. You get to see that gray type. You don't get those deep blacks. What is the reason for that? Let me tell you. The science behind IPS LCD is that there is a layer of pixels. Now, those pixels are doing their job, but to show those pixels, a light has to be placed on the back of those pixels, which is called a backlight. Now, that backlight is lit, and because of that, those pixels are visible. Now, see, if there is a black area on the display, but the back LED is completely on, the backlight mechanism of IPS LCD consumes more power compared to AMOLED panel. You must have seen many LED TVs in our homes. There is a problem in such TVs. That the LCD screen is being obstructed, this is because the LED backlight is not working. The display is on but not visible, so this is the IPS LCD. And the viewing angles, it's good, good quality IPS LCD panel, good PPI density, still considered a top class. If we talk about AMOLED displays here, then AMOLED stands for Active Matrix Organic Light Emitting Diode. So this is its full form. If I tell you here, then this AMOLED display is made by Samsung. They have a little expensive display because their quality is good. Secondly, if you have a question, what is the difference between AMOLED and Super AMOLED? So see, this is the straight answer. If the same Samsung panel is used by another brand, it is called Super AMOLED, which is a market term. Discussing quality AMOLED displays are generally preferred by users due to their vivid color reproduction and higher saturation. When watching content on an AMOLED display, black pixels turn off, providing deeper blacks and enhancing the viewing experience especially in dark environments. This also improves energy efficiency and battery consumption, particularly in dark mode. OLED panels, organic light emitting diodes, similarly offer deep blacks and bright whites, contributing to excellent contrast and color reproduction, comparable to AMOLED displays. High refresh rate panels and touch sampling rates are also important. High refresh rates provide smoother visuals, while high touch sampling rates improve responsiveness, enhancing the gaming experience. 
For instance, a 144 Hz IPS panel is often preferred over a 60 Hz AMOLED panel due to its superior refresh rate. IPS LCD panels offer accurate colors and good viewing angles, though they are generally less bright and consume more battery than AMOLED panels. IPS panels are thicker and less flexible compared to the thinner, flexible AMOLED panels, which are often used in curved displays. IPS panels are cheaper, whereas AMOLED technology is more expensive. In summary, both IPS and AMOLED panels have their advantages. IPS panels provide accurate colors and good viewing angles, while AMOLED panels offer vivid colors, better energy efficiency, and thinner designs. Both technologies continue to advance, offering high-quality displays in their respective areas. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Until then, take care. Allah Hafiz.